your baby is protected from any mechanical injury or if you fall at least your baby is protected you know the the water sort of serves like a buffer to prevent any injury to your baby what's up beautiful people welcome to another exciting episode of labor room with your pregnancy partner dr o you already know so actually today we're not discussing something new we're continuing from where we stopped last week if you missed last week's video please click the link below i'm going to link the video somewhere up here just click on the link follow the link and watch the video right you don't want to be watching part two when you haven't watched part one we were talking about three guaranteed signs of labor last week for all you new moms that may not necessarily know the signs of labor right that video is going to give you the secrets and the tips to know when you're in labor like it's going to give you three guaranteed signs so actually it's going to give you two because i talked about two and then we ran out of time so i had to break it down and leave the very last and special one for this week so has anyone been able to guess like what is this special sign that i kept all the way till this week right <laughs> what's that special sign of labor that i kept and i'm going to use a whole episode to talk about well 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 if you can guess just let me know down in the comment section but before that i'm just going to give a recap of what we discussed last week so last week we said one of the signs of labor is um bloody show and in that video i explained to you what bloody show was how soon after seeing your bloody show might you expect to give birth and i also said something very important you need to know the difference between bloody show and bright red blood right because bloody show is a good sign it means baby is coming soon but bright red blood might actually indicate something more dangerous in pregnancy so this video is not about that go and watch that first video the other point we talked about was contractions everybody knows that when you're in labor you're gonna have contractions but then again there's real contractions and there's fake contractions do you actually know the difference between the two because if you're having fake contractions you are not in labor but if you're having real contractions you are definitely in labor so if you want to know how to differentiate between real contractions and fake contractions then go back to watch that video so let's jump right into the topic of today the last sign of labor that i'm going to be discussing today is another thing that movies have abused maybe not as much as contractions but this has definitely been abused can you guess what i want to say if you can guess let me know if you can't well i'm going to tell you right now have you heard of this thing called water breaking where they say your water broke you can just be watching a movie i don't want to be in a restaurant and be like, my water just broke and everybody's going to start spinning around around the place yeah so when your water breaks this is a guaranteed sign of labor nobody needs to tell you that man baby's coming any moment now right but this only happens in a small percentage of women not every woman has their water breaks continuously a lot of women have this artificially done at their hospital something we call artificial rupture of membrane so basically your water breaking is called rupture of membranes in medicine right when it breaks on its own it's called spontaneous rupture of membrane but when the doctor has to actually use an instrument to rupture this membrane or to tear this membrane then we call it artificial rupture of membrane so sometimes if your labor is not progressing fast enough the doctor might perform something called artificial rupture of membrane and actually tear open this membrane so that your labor will progress faster because from the moment your water breaks you are already in active labor the labor usually goes much faster from there and baby comes sooner than later right so if you're one of the few women that their water breaks on its own once your water breaks you want to start heading for the hospital because it's not like a bloody show that can take days to come most times when your water breaks it's just a matter of hours for the baby to be here so you don't want to be too far away from the hospital if your water has broken right when you're pregnant your baby is going to be sitting in your womb inside a sac called the amniotic, amniotic sac that is the membrane as we know it. now inside the sac is fluid your baby is sitting or swimming inside fluid called amniotic fluid now what is the purpose of this amniotic fluid this fluid actually protects your baby from mechanical injury so for example if somebody might have to mistake your mysteriously just Give you a jab in your tummy right with your elbow your baby will be like what's that what's going on 
or if you have a naughty first child like me that was always bouncing on my tummy and using my tummy as bouncy castle during my pregnancy the baby inside will not be having headache and wondering what's on earth the mom is doing what is going on here you know that kind of thing so basically um your baby is protected from any mechanical injury or if you fall and use your baby is protected you know the the water sort of serves like a buffer to prevent any injury to your baby imagine that the baby is inside this sack to the water so let's imagine that the sack is one of these transparent plastic bags and the water is a regular water so you just put um, water in the transparent plastic bag now when you have contractions your womb is squeezing that plastic bag now remember that you have a plastic bag filled with water and you have tied it when you squeeze a plastic bag filled with water and you keep squeezing and squeezing eventually what do you think will happen if you guess right that plastic bag is going to burst open so that bursting open is your water breaking every time you're having contractions your wound is squeezing that plastic bag it's squeezing it's squeezing, squeezing and it will get to a point where the bag also known as your membrane the amniotic sac will just burst open and then the water rushes out now the amount of water that comes out will depend on how big the hole in the membrane is if it's a really big hole the water can come out and if it's a small hole it will come out in trickles what usually happens if you've ever experienced your water breaking before it feels as if you're peeing on your tail especially if you're sitting there and you'll be like mm -hmm. i know i wanted to go to the toilet to pee but can i actually be peeing on myself like has it come to this you know sometimes say pregnancy can disgrace you you just be like what okay i'm not trying to scare you but the most serious note yeah i can just be like am i peeing on myself what on earth is happening if that happens to you and you are thinking of standing up <laughs> if you're in a public place maybe you call some people i don't know how you do it but if you're in your house good what i would tell you is get up carefully because the moment you stand up water is going to it's going to splash everywhere like literally everywhere you're going to have a hot mess on the floor take it from me i'm talking from experience this happens to me two times yeah no judging here so make sure you stand up carefully so i'm not telling you to stand up carefully because i'm scared that the baby's going to fall out no even though your water has broken doesn't mean the baby is going to fall right after the water like after the water comes out then baby's coming out. no but trust me sooner than later the baby's going to be here so you need to get to the hospital as soon as you can don't take it for granted if you don't get to the hospital as soon as you can mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i can tell you you probably will give birth in transit or in your house those are the three signs of labor i have for you today because i wanted to give you guarantees there are a few other signs of labor but those signs are not exactly clear cut and trust me they are not even as guaranteed as these three that i just told you today if you notice that you have any of these signs then woohoo baby is coming soon i'm super happy for you trust me we cannot wait to meet the baby you know in our ozone community we always like to share good news we always like to hear about your pregnancy so feel free to come and share with us that baby is around let's know what was your labor experience like how do you know you are in labor did you experience all these three signs did you experience one of them let's know in the comment section like how was your pregnancy experience like how was your labor experience like how was your childbirth experience like new moms would love to see this veteran moms would love to exchange notes but we love to hear from you let's know and if you are not subscribed to this channel honestly i don't know what you're waiting for kindly click the subscribe button share this video with someone you think would need to see this and till next week like i always say every pregnancy journey might be different but your pregnancy partner dr o remains the same see you next week